Yeah. All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. Same people with me, you know what I'm saying? To my left, my dog be here. We got an official announcement, man. We retiring the Bishop Greenleaf title today, man. Yeah, we dropping the Greenleaf, man. You just Bishop? <laughs> yeah, shout out to the star, bro. You blew it. Putting <laughs> Greenleaf on the back of the jacket. So, <laughs> I'm fucking with it, though. The shit hard, bro. Shout out to you for doing the merch, but... The green leaf got to go, bro. <laughs> Why is that, man? That's what no, they call you, no, man. Do not disrespect the lineage, bro. <laughs> Absolutely not. Fuck the nigga that played green leaf, too. You've been getting too much love. Well, what season? I mean, what episode? Keith, we why on, why fuck him for? Because, uh, bro, you've been stretching his name too long on the show, bro. Hey, yo. We were tired of this. I'm sorry. <laughs> you said stretching his name, nigga. That's right. me. I didn't say stretching his body, bro. Stretching his name. <laughs> that, it's that too early. Out of pocket. It's, <laughs> respect Nunu Daddy, nigga. That was, up in the that Nike was, shots. That was Nunu Pops on uh, ATL. Why you ain't do nothing? You gonna fight a nigga? You gonna fight a girl daddy? Nigga, at the skating rink? Where do y'all rank that movie as a classic? Is that ATL. one of y'all favorite black movies? ATL is, is I don't think the movie favorite is that good. black but, movie? Nah. But, wait, what? <laughs> that ain't a top black DJ, movie. Like, wait, what? I said black experience. Niggas remember that weekend to go pull oh, the ATL, mama, bro. bro. That was a different time for everybody. It was. I agree. Man. Before we get to the disagreement, <laughs> introduce my dog, Young Nacho, Young Teague. How you what, man? For all the dogs. Oh, you got the, that's what's about the dog today? For all the dogs. They went by the dog. For all the dogs, he was. By the kennel. It was, it was by, it was by the doggy door. That's you a don't little, have a dog? That's a little one. <laughs> Under the big dog. That's oh a little dog. Oh, my God. No, for all the dogs. Hey, speaking of Snickers, uh, we called it here for us, unfortunately. Um. Uh, did you see Julius Randle Media Day with them Skechers on? I wrote Skechers and told him I would love to be a Skechers athlete. You just doing shit. I did. I swear to God. Go look. If y'all go look at my Instagram, I follow Skechers. For Sports. what, Him bro? and Terrence Mann. They lit. That's a nasty roster. I swear I'll be a Skechers athlete. So you tell me next podcast you're going to be in here in the Kim K. If, uh, they, send, if they send me, hey, y'all they can sign me. you what? Y'all send me the gear. Y'all sign me for a couple hundred bands. I'll be a Skechers athlete. I don't believe it. I swear to God, give me a couple hundred bands. I'll rock the mugs playing all the pro ams. <laughs> so you gonna go do the big three in the Skechers? Swear, hey, if I do the big three in the Skechers, I need half a ticket. I will take two fifty too. I ain't gonna lie, two fifty a year. We stopped talking about ATL to talk about this. This pissing me. I'm off. rolling. He gonna disrespect <laughs> a black classic. <laughs> For Julius Randle ass <laughs> basketball shoe. If I've what never seen a nigga who wears Skechers. Matter of fact, 150. 150, big three, all summer, Skecher athlete. He's a cheap bro. <laughs> 150 a year. I'll take a five year contract too. God damn. You want a max deal from Skechers? I'll be I'll sign me up for the year 150, bro. I'll rock you out. You got nah. Well, they say, all right, we got 200 for you. But the Pike Rake Devils will have that S on the side. Facts. We schedule we schedule to hey, I coach Pike High School. We'll be Skechers. Y'all first basketball team in high school. We'll take it. <laughs> the poor kids. They're fucked. <laughs> they go they go revolt. Yeah, all right. Hey, make that a real. Uh, Please do. Uh, I'll be a sketch rapper. Y'all here going like Black China, nigga. We not having that. We not having that. She was in there selling shit on her cadmus on Wayfair. That's the rebrand. Niggas, before they say they out of money, they always say how much they are Christian now. I've been in the church. Why was you at work? You should have went to work before you Black got right China, to work. Come back home, man. Oh, nah, she came back home. King of Diamonds. Oh, For sure. Don't bring your mama. <laughs> nah, but I hey one last dance I show up. That's our last dance. I don't know. That'd be fire on the flyer. Yeah, yeah VIP and pull up. Shit. One, one last, last dance. dance. That's Nigga hard. Down. <laughs> it sounds like P Valley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have your P Valley moment. That show is wild too. One of the worst. Nah, honestly, <laughs> respect to the community. That's one of the craziest shows I have I ever can't, seen. Okay, I, I had to stop watching. Once, once uh. Oh boy, the rapper boy. Lil like, Murder? Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> they got the hooping on Lil yeah, Murder. Yeah, yeah, What season was that one? Dog. I, I don't think I made it any past another season. Bob, where he And I like the one OG girl uh, who had the one last dance. What's her name? Oh, yeah. she. Her mama took all the money and went to the church. Man, so I, I liked you, but oh, boy. That's hey, the y'all. Black China influence. <laughs> For sure. Hey, Lil Murder took They really the- stole your story, Black China. <laughs> They stole Black China story on P Valley. <laughs> Shout out to China, man. Go get your. Uh... Hey, man, that, they don't need to put shit like that on TV no more. 
I never tuned in. But oh, you haven't watched it? No. Oh, man. season one is fire. But you I always see it. like the clips and shit, and you know, Uncle <laughs> Uncle Cliff, goddamn it, Blake. To that the, was his name, Uncle yeah, Cliff. Uncle hey man, Cliff. when Lil Murder took Uncle Cliff to the, to the bubble Chevy, I said this show needs to be canceled. Wow. I didn't get that far. I was done. I was done after he said I came for you. I said, huh? He got goats. Ah, oh, I'm confused. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Also, Disrespected all the hood niggas. Yeah, bro. I said I'm out, man. Mississippi, Damn. man. Los, what they doing, man? <laughs> Y'all out of pocket. Talk to me, Los. Y'all out of pocket in Jackson, Mississippi. <laughs> Talk to me, Los. Crick letter, letter I. <laughs> Where they at? They in Jackson. Where that show based out of? Probably. If not Jackson, it's probably A Tail. <laughs> no, it's. Oh, we never going to no, do a show no. in Mississippi. <laughs> no. I forgot what this is. Yeah. It's, it's a made up ass place, bro, but. That first season, they had Diet Dre on there, and she was talking like Michael B. Jordan. I was like, I don't know how long this show's gonna yeah, go. Right. I ain't gonna lie, they uh, intro song hard though. Well, how it go? I can't remember how uh, it go. Down buddy. in the valley, yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, I can't remember how it go, but it was hard though. Okay, Mike know it. Mike some, tuned in. Some, yeah, Mike some, tuned some, in. Some, 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 some. Was Mike on the show? <laughs> Oh, we can't hear you, up. so you don't have a microphone. Yeah, so they said you it's need whatever a mic. we say. You, uh, you like watching it without your wife? That's Do y'all crazy. skip? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Do y'all skip that scene though when they be going crazy, Mike? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, you get refreshments for that scene. <laughs> oh, hey, yo. That, that, what did he say? <laughs> in the in the dun, 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 I hear one, two, do. shake them, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. What you trying to say? Yeah, it was hard though. Speaking of music, you got the Drake song, um, mm-hmm. Number Fire. How you for all the dogs. <laughs> for all the dogs went on his ass about this album. Uh, <laughs> Did y'all like it? I fuck with it. I fuck with the album. I mean, it's Drake. He ain't going to make too much bad music, but I mean, the more important part, fuck the music. The back and forth for him and Joe was the funniest shit I ever seen in my life. I have never seen somebody. Like, anytime you argue with somebody and you explain something or you send a paragraph, it's like when you arguing with your girl or something and she sends you a paragraph, you be like, nigga, I'm not reading all that I'm shit. I'm not reading all that. And yeah. people wrote me, y- y'all motherfuckers writing on Joe page. Like, Shout out to Joe. That's game the homie. seven. I'm like, if y'all pay attention to the show, that was DJ that wrote that. I didn't write that on the fucking page. That was a crazy way to snitch on me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy what we started is this like, <laughs> What you mean, game seven? I'm like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? <laughs> Nigga, send me that. I said, that's fucking DJ right on Joe Page. <laughs> I mean, he's Man. the Club 520 anchor. <laughs> what the fuck? But are we going to talk about the Club 520 <laughs> Snapchat that you run? <laughs> Dang, we got Snapchat? <laughs> yeah, just Brandon. Oh. Yeah. We got Snapchat. Oh, that's that what? one where you had. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one. Oh, when, get on oh, that. Bet. Oh, girl was dank. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Down in the valley <laughs> where. That's what it is. Down in the valley where they get oh. naked. <laughs> oh, bet. Oh, that's we live this show that's tonight. Song. Down oh, in the one, valley. Two, we got a, we yeah. got a conversation coming up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Down in the oh, valley where they be getting naked. Oh, that's fine. I can't remember the song. That's so. fine. Niggas throw me under the bus. <laughs> go ahead. I didn't even know we had a Snapchat, but <laughs> no, shout, have a push shout out to the Snap, man. <laughs> shout out to the Snap community. The 520 Snap gang. Shout out. Put it, put it on the Patreon. <laughs> They're right, the same man. people. <laughs> Mike's a couple. All right, man. <laughs> but shout nah. Out. We here now. Shout out to Mike watching Pete Valley by himself. That's hard. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> That nigga no, let's shout out to you. You've been watching uh, Power again. Man, <laughs> Power is the fire show ever. Because that nigga Ghost got off some of the most craziest bars I have ever seen to a woman in my life. When his side bitch died and he told his wife, hey, have some sympathy. The love of my life just died. He's the coldest nigga ever. Okay, but that's a great question. Didn't he deserve that, though? He took care of everything. Ooh. Down in the valley. Dun, 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 so what you dun, saying is, you know what I'm saying, if if he's taking care of all the, the things in the household and you are staying at home taking care of things, you know, there should be some conversations about what's okay and what's not. You know what we really need to figure out what they're going to do? The Cowboys. That was crazy. Hey, man. <laughs> Fuck Dakota Prescott. <laughs> Every time they put that meme up with him getting stolen on the beach, I retweet it because I'm sick of this shit. 49ers beat this shit out. Bro, they beat the sleeves off of us, bro. They're just Parsons. a way better team, but go ahead. No, they're the best team in the NFL. Like, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not even going to put that ass on us that made it a different. They're right, the right, best right. team in the NFL, yeah. bro. They're cold as fuck. But we are trash because Dakota sucks. We changed our whole offense because he won't p- throw past 15 yards. Put Trey Lance in the fucking game. That's the only reason I signed back up. I was like, oh, we got to have a quarterback who can throw downfield and ain't scared? Let's try it. Yeah. We some hoes, man. 
Shout out to the Cowboys, man. You always make my Sundays better. Damn, man. I stayed up and watched that game in agony. Like, damn, I'm really wasting my Sunday night. I'm a Niners that. fan. Since when? Since Joe Montana. Oh, that's nasty. Right, I didn't know go. that about you. I thought you were a better person than that. Yeah, yeah I've been go. like in the Niners, though. Yo, fuck the Colts. Shout out to the Colts, man. I fuck with Zaire, but. <laughs> You, you supposed it. to name your top five coaches? Zaire. Zaire was in there. Zaire. Who we have? What's, hey, he, what's the dude's name? Hey, ZB killing though. EJ. <laughs> you going to put two niggas we know in there? EJ Speed. Yeah, Child EJ. Five. EJ. Uh, Peyton Manning. I told y'all his tattoo cap in a bitch. Hell yeah. It really is. <laughs> it really is. Just Wait. Saturday. <laughs> we ain't never getting coach season tickets. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> but shout out to the Niners, man. Christian McCaffrey. Uh, oh, my dog. Lord. The only white running back I respect. Shout out um, to Mac, man. He the only one. Shout out to Debo. <laughs> That's like saying. <laughs> Kittles, we up. <laughs> hey, them niggas be coming out to the craziest <laughs> shit. Them niggas be fucking with NBA young boy too. I fuck with them too. I fuck with the Niners. Purdy, we too. up. I fuck with the Niners. Hey, Brock Purdy in respect. I've been seeing all these niggas disrespect Brock Purdy. He's definitely a cold QB. I don't care what niggas Shout say. out to Purdy, we up. That nigga went from a seven round pick. That's crazy. Him and Zaire, like, Zaire's seven round pick might fuck around and get defensive player of the year, and Brock Party might get MVP. That shit crazy. Shout out to niggas making it work. Man. But back on the Drake shit. Uh, the shit with him and Joe was funny. Fuck that interaction. But, like, you, as obviously an athlete, had to deal with this shit. Why do people feel like they are above criticism? Like, I don't understand. Like, no matter how good you are or something, I feel like people should never be above criticism. But if I do it better than you, like, how you gonna tell me how to do it? That's good. I like that. I agree. The media versus the actual people that do it. Yeah. Or even like, that's like me going here and be like, yeah, Brian, I like that. That's crazy. Like, Jeff, how you gonna say Brian, I like that? Nigga, you not like that. That's why when Joe say that album was weak, well, it's like, Joe, you never had a good album. <laughs> like, what do you mean? But see, I agree with that statement. If you criticizing the music of it, for sure, because nigga, I'm Drake. But also, when he said, like, the other stuff he was saying about it was just, like, you can tell where your displacement is because you're around people who are not telling you real shit. And, like, look at what you are and what you're around compared to your peers in that situation. You can't be mad at that shit. But when you get so good, you just start trying different shit. Like, you like, ah, I can do this. Like, if Brian wanted to, Brian could just score 30 points a game, just going to the basket still. Yeah. People was like, yeah, you need to learn how to shoot threes. The niggas around him. Nobody told Giannis to start shooting threes. They like you can. He like yeah, fuck that. But they like know. keep going to the basket, brother. <laughs> but it, I mean, you know, it, Alex said that. Yeah, keep going to the basket. That's good though, because I mean, DJ's in that media world. He yeah. was in that sports world, so that's the conflict though, where it get a little spooky between the two. Yeah. Like, well, you can't discredit a nigga. That's one thing I always say. Like, you can say, all right, Jeff fucking sucks tonight. You can say that, but you can't say. That nigga weak, he don't have no intake. Like, that's some bullshit to say. Yeah. But at the same time, when you know a nigga like, hey, bro, like, listen to this shit. Like, you he might be it. fooling somebody else, but, bro, you sound like a fucking kid. You grown as hell. We was hard on J. Cole, Matt, probably harder more than you, me, than you in the situation. But them years when he didn't want to rap with nobody else and make his own beats, nigga, go find somebody else to help you. Because this shit Why? sounds redundant as fuck. Why? I can do it myself, and I feel like it's good to me. It's, it's all they projects. It's what they like. Yeah. It ain't what y'all like. It's what I like. So... If I like it, I love it. And y'all don't gotta like it, but y'all niggas still buy it, y'all still listen to it. Yeah, and is. you still a Drake fan. That's sure. how I, I feel them, but I get what, I feel what they, everybody had in, like anticipation for the album. They wanted this hardcore rap shit. I did too, but it was for the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and if you ain't like it, it just wasn't your cup the of media, tea. I fuck with the media, but the media just do a lot. And we in the media now. But we are, we are media. No, we are media, but I just think they just do a lot now, bro. It's just too much beef. Like, we say shit. I say crazy shit on the show. I get it, bro. But my shit don't be to where niggas be really attacking motherfuckers, bro. Yeah, like, tell we them crack stop jokes, 20, bro. Stop telling them to fuck 25-year-olds. Like, they the, ba- they the baddies right now. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking the baddies. They look better than the bitches your age, bro. Yeah, I mean, oh. I mean, not real fuck, talk. I mean, they do. The, that's what. I, but I get what he, I get. I I see both perspectives. Joe is still. I fuck with what Joe said because he was still a fan. He yeah, like, no, I still love Drake. No, nah, yeah, like, but Drake, like you aging, like let your music age with you. I get it. But then, if some people live a different lifestyle, like Drake lives a young lifestyle. Absolutely. He gonna do young shit. Like, he gonna hang with Lil Yachty and them. Like, Joe is seasoned. Like, 
He Joe look, look funny hanging with Uzi and them, bro. That ain't he his lane. Insane. That ain't his lane. Yeah. But Drake don't really look out of place. Like nah. Drake got braids. Like, like and yeah, that, I mean? them niggas is pulling. <laughs> yeah, that nigga got. <laughs> they pulling up to a studio session. They staying at his house for multiple days yeah. at a time. Like Joe, he, in you that, ain't doing he in that. He in that world. Yeah, you ain't doing. He in that, that world. So it's hard to relate because you like. I could never see Jay Z doing the shit Drake do. Yeah, so Joe is telling Drake to mm-hmm. be thirty six, and Drake really twenty six at heart. Nah, facts. And yeah. what's crazy is we in the industry, well, not we. They in the industry in hip hop that we don't see niggas grow up. Like we don't see niggas grow old. Honestly, yeah. Jay probably the first one we really got to see really like matriculate all the way up because yeah. Big Pac unfortunately met that demise early. Drake probably gonna be the next one we see that had that statue to go to that point because even with Wayne. Went th- went through some shit for some years and we didn't see him and they couldn't even release the album. Yeah, we gonna see Future go that big though. Yeah, yeah but, but we I, never I had say, a conversation with Future. I say when Future aged differently from Drake though. Like Future, he still make you want to go to the club, but it's like a a older like. I don't feel like I'm listening to like a young dude rap. Absolutely, I feel like yeah, he talking right, about bro. fucking on some bitches or whatever. Niggas yeah. gonna do that for the rest of their life. So for it's sure. cool. Yeah, but. They different people. Yeah, they just different. Like, One nigga's Canadian, another nigga's from Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just different. Yeah, like I ain't gonna see it. I don't think. Future I was just saying the it. old nigga that was Asian. That's all. And Man, it's funny because like it's always worse. Whenever you got an argument, somebody hopping in to like defend you, especially when it's like somebody you don't like. Your girl hopping in to defend you. Like that nigga dad hopped in the comments. Dennis, we don't want to hear from you, nigga. Like he said, they legal. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, that's a terrible response. Hey, they legal, and no then, kills, and then Birdman ah, let the thanks. chopper loose. Yeah, he's gonna kill Drewski. He said no champagne, but no, no disrespect to champagne popping. When you start calling niggas on Instagram, day boy, I'm like, yeah, that's crazy. You out of date. That's, that's nasty. Crazy. Yeah, I don't like that one. But that's shout out to Birdman though. Birdman's gonna kill Drewski, bro. <laughs> we just keep Birdman is on. Birdman is on a crazy rent right now. I feel like he got something brewing. I don't know what he got, bro. Because he throwing strays out there. Him who, and Gilly funny. Who more famous right now, Gilly or Birdman? Who more lit? Gilly. Ah, oh, easily Gilly. Who you more lit? He more lit than Birdman right now? For sure. Oh, yes, For bro. sure, bro. Man, if Birdman gone right now, if he go and do a podcast, it'd be more lit than Gilly and Wallow. Nah. No. No way. You crazy <laughs> as hell. Fuck no, Y'all bro. Crazy. He, he would wilding. he would have to get on that podcast. And bring Lil Wayne, and that shit would be more lit than Gilly He would have to get on there snitching. <laughs> Facts. Nah, now, if he got in there and told stories all the time about some stuff we had questions about, them that, first two seasons would go crazy. That's all Willie mm-hmm. and that's all Gilly and Wallow. They created a, a lane for that. Bro. But here's the problem. I'm, I'm a fan of Gilly and Wallow. Yeah, I we love we know. But no, what I'm sure. saying is, y'all, it's Birdman, bro. It's number one stunner, bro. Like, yeah, but some of the responses to some of the things he says is the reason why that show won't go long. Yeah, bro. I mean, not. he went on there and he, he really had somebody else sit down with him. That can articulate a little better than he can, but now, ask him the question. Birdman is more famous than Gilly, but more lit at the moment. Nah. Absolutely not. Man, y'all crazy. Now, when he when he break down that verse, number one stunner. <laughs> and number one stunner, you don't want none of it. What you say? He got on. He gonna have to know how to articulate it. Now, Gilly and Wallow and them are already on a run, bro. It's different. They lit. I, I'm a fan. Yeah, so I, they more lit than one him. One of my bro. favorite podcasts, but it's Birdman, bro. I see how he had Clubhouse in the uproar, like. Niggas was like, you see what Birdman said? He said, Gilly he ain't never wrote for Wayne. And the nigga was on there. I don't know why. I'm you got, yeah, you got to you gotta be on there. <laughs> he said, I don't know about that yeah, one, bro. you got to be on there talking like you got the bouncy ball under your name. <laughs> <laughs> but you going to have to do that consistently, I bro. I was going to say. But he can, bro. <laughs> Think about the people level. he can bring on his show. They, not they do five minutes. What? They Drake on the show. Him and Drake oh, yeah. talking about that. Tiger, yeah. gutter, gutter. Oh, Tiger not pulled up. Thug, he can get Thug <laughs> on the phone from jail. Hopefully. Yeah, he can. <laughs> he get Future on there. That call's getting denied. <laughs> Nigga, you're part of the reason I'm here. Future <laughs> ain't doing no Birdman. Man. You show. crazy as hell. He, man. He ain't doing no Birdman. Man, man show, you crazy as hell. Don't he don't respect, do he don't respect do that. Birdman. Say somebody else's name. Man, he respect Birdman, bro. Birdman, say that, man. You better go tap in. Go out, go listen to what he said. Right, bro. Do the shit for this class, boy. Yeah, uh, shout out to, shout he out to had Gladys. Drewski on there. He could have Drewski do the podcast with him. Nah, nigga, Drewski better. He need a great co-host is what I'm he saying. He could have Drewski. He could have anybody. Saying, they, he podcast, bigger than Gilly and them. I'm nothing, bro. His he podcast would be lit, bro. All I know is them stories are going to be ridiculous, but I feel like at some point it's going to go left because mm-hmm. the counter stories about Birdman that we hear is going to make things get really – just. Like, I mean, even with this podcast shit, even for you, bro, like people – I didn't know we talked. I don't know why I act weird like that, but – 
you've opened up a lot more because you're good at this and you're good at this shit. A lot of people, man, they get in that and them cameras and shit. Shit gets spooky because you can't duck certain shit. Birdman been a star forever. He gonna have Tony Braxton on one of the episodes. Y'all niggas is crazy right now. Y'all really? Are y'all fucking serious, bro? Nobody said he's not more famous than that's them. what I'm saying. Nigga. He's he, more. They are more lit than him right no, now. No, they that's could never be more bro. lit than the number one stunner, bro. I'm, he's yeah. not the number one stunner anymore. <laughs> yes, he is, bro. No, shit not. don't die, nigga. Shit don't quit. The, <laughs> the power rankings have changed. Nah, that nigga still the worst. Hey, nigga. get my nigga. Cash How you ain't money? the number one stunner? You can say, nigga. I, Drake signed to me. Why ain't signed to me? Get Nicky my nigga a cash money chain. Yeah. Birdman, <laughs> sign me up. Fuck it. The real, me. the real JT money. Are you the real JT money? Hey, you put out of pocket. Yeah, man. Why y'all bring up niggas to die, man? Is he dead? Hell no, nah, he ain't For the dead. Y'all yeah, fucked up. Y'all kill me. Y'all be dropping bullshit facts. I'm going to start getting on these niggas' ass about that, too. <laughs> nigga. They was made that up. Oh, if you click back. Yeah. That's fine. That's, That's the story. So line. she she was she, she was just a regular old straggler. Like, have you ever bad, told somebody he's you're, bad with the media? Yeah, man. he's one. I have fun with it. So have you ever told somebody congratulations and they weren't pregnant? He definitely has. I yeah. would never, because I always will analyze the woman and be like, before I make a judgment, have a conversation with her. He's automatically gonna say either you're pregnant or he's just gonna call a motherfucker fat out the gate. I just be like, damn, she lost herself. Yeah. No, I'm playing. <laughs> he will. But, Top five, yeah, not yeah, bitching yeah. at all. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Don't you? Hey, don't you? I hate the girls that were so bad in high school that you see them and they not bad no more. Damn. Once they got out the baby fat coats, it got spooky. Yeah. Shout out to them though. I don't like see y'all still beautiful. All you need is a gym membership and some dedication. Actually, gym memberships really don't work, but you can still. Oh, shout out to D1 Factory. I'm saying like for <laughs> right. for for certain shit you can't. <laughs> nah, certain shit they'll go away. You can't go away. Yeah, you can but, do a, you can do a million pushups. You yeah. can't grow titties. Yeah, like what? I was talking about the girls losing weight. Bro. Oh, oh, okay. The what girls losing weight. Oh, you yeah, still you can, you go to the gym. Yeah. Go yeah. to the one factory if you two hundred and fifty. No, yeah, you might 15. can't afford the one fifteen a month. Get you some free. They got affordable clothes. packaging. We got affordable boot camps. Is great. It's never fifteen a month. Boot camp changed some people's life. Shout out to a couple people that been in there and life's changed. You know a couple personally? Yeah, my What's mama. Their names? My mama, Carol T. And who else? Who's just some around people your age? <laughs> This uh, is crazy. She, who? <laughs> Kayla, OSHA. Kayla Sampson. <laughs> Kayla. She be going in the boot camp. Kayla, okay. shout outs be so crazy on the show. <laughs> nah, I'm saying, I ain't saying it changed her life. I'm saying she be going. Okay. Paige Jefferson be going. Shout out to them. Okay. Shout out to them. Uh, I fuck with the lineage. Who else be going? Hey, uh, why are you thinking about that? Did y'all see Rick Ross working out with Lethal Shooter? That jumper is nasty. <laughs> that's one of the worst jump shots I've ever seen. That, that's Bill Cartwright ish. How's that motherfucker going in? Did you see the court that he was shooting? Oh, on? did you see the jab? Pause. The mellow jab. Oh, my how's it going in with the jab? That's crazy. But all uh, right, <laughs> no hezzy. <laughs> I'm gonna use that one. It's a, it's a I had you <laughs> but why did they have that weak ass court at the? Never mind. Y'all got money. Where was so that Ross the new number, Is Ross the new number one stunner then? For sure. Oh, for sure. So you think he took Birdman's spot? Absolutely. Uh, have you not heard the song? Absolutely. Man. Hey, he, he wrote a whole song about everything Birdman doing with Fugazi. I'm going to shout out to Stunner, man. Wow, well, Stunner started. He... Cash Money Nat. That's what I'm going to start calling myself. Change my Instagram. That's, That's going to be the new merch. Midwest yeah. Cash Money is yeah. nasty. Ooh, but... it got a ring to it. No, it don't. I'm, I'm signing niggas all from Chicago. All the wow. drill rappers. All know. these rappers we got in Indianapolis. I told Ooh. y'all he Name raggedy. Oh. Name him. He raggedy. Name it's him. a lot of them, bro. Name I don't even live here no more. You don't even, bro, stop. Who bro. live here? Stop, I don't, I don't think you should sign any paperwork that comes from Cash Money Records. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> to be fair to you, Cash Money West, baby. <laughs> I don't think you'll ever get on that couch. Oh, Julian yeah. and Rick Ross would never do that. Well, sign my nigga to a 720 deal. Well, Gelly did sign already, so yeah. <laughs> he's speaking from experience. <laughs> That nigga Birdman put DJ Khaled on the bitch. Birdman is a wild nigga, bro. Yeah, yeah. Shelf that nigga, man. He wasn't working hard enough. Hey, man. He was all, making hits. All he did was, all he do is win. <laughs> Motivation for my nigga. Hey, well, that nigga he the said, biggest. hey, the funniest shit ever, funniest me I ever said, Khaled, I see you working out, but you never lose weight. <laughs> yeah, Charlie I man, don't lose. <laughs> is that not golden? He said, I don't lose, bro. <laughs> I is cry, that not bro. going? To I hate him. Every that's time, what, him. Every time I see the videos of the Yo, show, that's, one of the, that's hey, one of the best. DJ Khaled is the best 
ever, bro. At the, what? The greatest DJ ever and the greatest marketing nigga huh? ever, bro. Ever. That nigga said, I don't lose. He's one of the best marketers of all time. He is, he's bro. one he's of the, the best. greatest DJs yeah, he's, ever, bro. He's I a great, not. great promoter. For sure. He DJs too. I don't know why I y'all don't know what his DJ sleep on his bag, like. bro. His DJ skills like academic. That's how he started. Absolutely not, bro. He started. <laughs> he's Chipotle game. DJ Gino. He, absolutely, absolutely not. DJ Gino. Absolutely. No. He's one of the worst DJs. Ever, bro. <laughs> hey, don't do my nigga <laughs> like that. <laughs> he had his city cracker for years. Don't disrespect. <laughs> no, you would never compare DJ Gino to fucking DJ. Speaking Khaled. of city cracker, who's the best DJ in the city? I need a DJ for my Halloween party. Oh, DJ. Uh, I I got a plethora, so I don't know. I got Nava. I got uh, Strick, of course. That's my nigga. It's my dog. Got Cash. Look, I'm going to tell y'all the truth. Honestly, mm. the nigga Lil JF, he's special, bro. Think he better than Pimp C? <laughs> nope. <Shout out laughs> Pimp C. Pimp C. He, he called. Pimp C is That's the. Good. You got, if you got Pimp C, you need Swift, though. He got to. Shout you got to Swift. Have my so dog. Turn too. it up. Shaq and Kobe. They turn want it up. That's the best one two combo. They do, they fact, they My niggas need to go on better. tour. Speaking yeah. of the one two combo, y'all fucking with the uh Meek and Ross album? They got one coming. Or they got that? one coming. I'll fuck with the song though, the Kobe and Shaq. Yeah. No, nah, it's it's about to be. You, gonna, you know how I feel about it. I don't I don't I wasn't gonna go Kobe and Shaq. <laughs> That's the name of it, bro. Yeah, I was gonna say they should Nick Anderson the penny. I was gonna say Nick Anderson, like, hell no, nah, y'all out of pocket. Me, I was gonna say dogs. Kobe and Shaq. I was gonna be like, yeah. You gonna say Jokic and Murray? Don't disrespect. Maybe Jokic and Bruce Brown. I was gonna say more who, like who the fuck is Bruce? That nigga, that nigga daddy named me Bruce. That's crazy. <laughs> he came out the womb thirty. I was gonna say more <laughs> like who wants you on the show? Who like, Bruce? Nah, they they a, they a nice duo, but they ain't like Shaq and Kobe's like Drake and Future. That's Shaq and Kobe. I mean, because future, yeah, absolutely. Shaq and Kobe, I was going to say Jay and Hov. No, no, that's. I mean, Jay and Wayne. <laughs> that, that's Scotty and Mike. Kanye Dev Troy and Scotty. Ooh. That's let's a talk about So what's a better duo? A better duo than Shaq and Kobe? Let's talk about it. Is better than Scotty and Mike? They got more rings. For sure, accomplishment wise, but if you're going to. I'm saying together. When you put them two together, you got automatic championships. But you got to put Shaq and Kobe, though. If yeah, you they go, only at, got three. They only got three. Yeah, but I mean they lost two together. Shaq, Mike, Jay Z and, and Kanye West is the yeah. best duo ever. Yeah, though, that's Mike and Scotty. They the best duo ever. I'm not. I'm not putting that smut on Yay. Yeah, no, Scotty. What? I got to put more. They, yeah, they Yay best. is crazy. <laughs> Scotty saying, is a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm saying the duo when they when they together they win. That's Future the best took duo, your bitch, huh? <laughs> y'all y'all looking at it wrong. When they get together they win. Y'all looking at individual players. Yeah. You like, yeah, he, <laughs> he Kobe, yeah. he Shaq, they both Kobe. Oh, I'm keep it on about, court. Keep it on court. Yeah, I'm saying when they a duo, when Jordan and Scotty together, it's an automatic championship. I'll fuck with that, Tay. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it's one of my So coaches. that's I, an automatic championship when Ye and Jay get together. I fuck with that. It's yeah. Scotty but and Mike. But we know right, it's crazy because <laughs> we never can call future Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ain't did. never gonna do that. <laughs> okay, well. Because we, we taking they, niggas home. So... Are, are, are they D Way? Are they D Way? Future was the first step daddy in the Pippin household. Oh, that's what happened? Up. Are they D Way? That's fucked up. Are they D Way and Bron? I fuck with that. On D Way and Bron. I fuck with that. On God, I do. Drake and Future D Way and Bron. I love that. I'm fair with that. Absolutely. I'm fair with that for Good sure. Good shit, bro. Good so shit. Ross being Kobe and Shaq, I can't do that. I'm gonna get him like. Uh, yeah, that's a tough. Yeah, I'm going to get them. That's a part that. That's a tough. That's a tough, tough, tough. And no yeah, disrespect to me. But y'all don't really like Meek like that. I do. I think, I do. Meek, is, I think Meek is nice, but I'm Kobe not like how Shaq, I like him, though. When we doing the comparisons. I got respect like for Meek, though, regardless of how I feel about him. When we doing the comparisons, they more like trying to think of a solid. Let me do a Paul George, Kawhi Leonard. There you go. Ain't really won nothing, but they, you know they good. There you go. I don't know. We got a, I, PG Kawhi. I got a lot of respect for uh, who's if Kawhi. Ross, Ross, I'm right? saying Ross yeah. is Kawhi. Okay, cool. I'm, rolling. I'm saying sure. they ain't won nothing together. That's for what I'm sure, saying. Sure. PG and Kawhi. Ross didn't won by itself. Yeah. Teflon Don is a top ten rap album to me. Oh, um, absolutely. Yeah. I'm saying he won yeah. by itself, so he Kawhi for sure. Is Ross a top ten rapper ever? No. Mm, come on, bro. And I don't think that's disrespect. Don't ever disrespect Nas. The whole East Coast like. That. I think Ross is a top ten rapper ever, bro. Oh God. For real. I'm y'all not, y'all name y'all name that. ten niggas better than Rick Method Ross. Man, name I five. I, I can't. I enjoy Ross's music. You name who? Method Man. The real myth. 
<laughs> no breaking we back. Know where the name got, we know where the name came from. Hey, he's still in shape. You got to chill out. That nigga get on your ass. That nigga strolled to the bitch. Hey, he ain't getting on nobody's ass. Pause. <laughs> Shout out to the real Shake Duster, the real dog food master. <laughs> Met the man, the goat. Man. The real dog food master is Turk. <laughs> they told y'all. They got the train truck. Shout Meth, out to Mike Vick. Meth cross or Turk can run. <laughs> And on that note, <laughs> no, no, fuck no. that. Cause you got Method Man fucked up. That's what was that song favorite, with him and Mary? One of my favorite artists. Don't bro. disrespect that song. I need that weak ass song, oh, nigga. nigga. You don't like Mary? Too good by. I do. When that motherfucker, everything come on. Yeah, I fuck with that. Hey, make one of the greatest R and B songs. Please ever. make this a real where he disrespect Method Man. You know I can't saying? wait till all them East Coast all, niggas. Y'all probably don't know that song. I know. I'm not singing it. Who don't that know that sad song? ass song. That shit is depressing. He's probably on the food on it that motherfucker video. A, that's not a depressing song. It's a love they song. They was uh, where was they at? At the top of the Sybaris. <laughs> doing that video. <laughs> hey, if you still going to the Sybaris in 2023, you are asking. No, you take your bitch to the Sybaris. You got gang green for real. That you get in that pool in the Sivers, bro. Oh my God. You didn't have- That's okay. Everyone pool water. <laughs> you you had definitely a rubber in there. Shout out to Uncle Joe, read that bitch out. <laughs> <laughs> like it was a D1 factory open run. Man, that's very weak. That's gross. He had a reserve bro. spot. <laughs> that's gross, bro. That's what Cobra really came from. Uncle um, okay, had the main court. <laughs> that's nasty, bro. Just Pulling up to the Sivers is crazy because that shit is not cheap. <laughs> It's not. Niggas hey, in the 90s were spending that big you know who nasty. You know some nasty niggas. Like, where we built the factory was a, a Motel 8, and we used to buy $40 hollers every weekend. Oh, wow. And we used to split I ain't it never, four ways. I think the $10. worst hotel I ever stayed in to get some ass was the Days Inn. We, I never I never got down to Motel. Uh, we was in the Motel. Yeah, that right was Right where crazy. the factory is. Dead bodies over there. Y'all just exchange keys. Yep. yep. <laughs> nigga with no keys, the doors didn't lock. No, I'm saying <laughs> niggas exchange the little, little we buy cards. Four. We get four of them. Yep, and exchange uh, them. You got, hours, the you got hours. Three man wave. Man. For sure. Yeah, the motel is just, when you get older, you look like, why I, niggas was here? Hey, you know, that's what I knew I wasn't, I wasn't made for this life. They, my niggas brunk alcohol. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was. <laughs> I was 17. Them niggas was like, yeah, we about to get lit a little bit. A little bit, bro. Lit. Y'all drinking? The party pack. Yeah, I was out. And it was bottom. T- I'm oh, sure it, was some, it was some Vecca. I was like, oh. oh. And it's some Boone's fuck, Farm. It's the fuck that Savecca up, though, bro. And it was Boone's Farm. Savecca, Smirnoff. I was never, I always had a little paper. I never fucked with the Kamchaka. I was always above that. <laughs> I was always above Kamchaka thought, and Dark Eyes. I thought niggas was tripping. But the Smirnoff, but when you got some Grey Goose, show the bitch some Grey Goose. Oh, you got money. Man, we were 17. I wasn't showing bitch nothing. Nah. Man, and that's what's going crazy. When you realize that everybody would like lie about their childhood and shit, when you get older, like, nigga, you was with me drinking UV two for five. Like, nigga, you weren't drinking Ciroc your whole life. Bro didn't really drink like that. No, he no, he didn't he drink. He was a premier athlete. He didn't get filthy till after weight. Yeah, I didn't drink till I was 22. Yeah. But even as adults, we were pulling up to functions and people had handles of Carlos Rossi. That shit was seven nights. Shout out to my nigga Sauce. Hey, good. I remember we had a New Year's nigga run. They go with the Grey Goose nigga and the papaya juice. Crazy run. You know, I ain't drink. I thought Hypnotic was strong as hell. Damn. I was walking around with Hypnotic bottles like this shit hit. That shit so fucking nasty. Louis had a great run. Fucking crying laughing. Like, T, go ahead and get what you get. (laughs) Oh, the Hypnotic was on the game. Go ahead and get your bottle, man. (laughs) Hypnotic, fucking gross. That's I, what niggas was. Uh, remember when niggas used to post with the Nouveau bottles? Oh my god! Shout Good. out to Sheezy. Shout out to T Pain. He was the Nouveau king for the show at the club. Sheezy, that's was when it. Club Ice was going crazy. Sheezy was at your birthday party, called now with an empty moment bottle, taking pictures. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> that's what my nigga. You had a glasses, nigga, that flipped up. Ah, uh, Urkel glasses. <laughs> So I was just a little white, bro. You fucking with the show for real. He does, Send a purple bro. article on the way. We need that up. It does, bro. That's crazy, bro. Hey, man, that picture. You, ever, you can tell with a ball of light as hell. <laughs> like, no, that's how we first started this show. We had the prop bottles. <laughs> yeah. That 1942 pop was <laughs> full of blame? tap water. It was all water in that I, bitch. I remember I filled up the Gregor. I ain't P has P had some guests over and tried to crack the 42. Like, I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> she was like, fuck it, just get the 42. Let's just... No, no. I was like, no, 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 no. She's like, wow. Like, oh, my God, that would have been insane, nigga. 
Oh, shout out to the twins. I had them drinking a the Grand Caribbean. You know, taking a shot. Man, that shit crazy. He said we was faking like a motherfucker. <laughs> the best move in basketball still the pump fake. <laughs> Man. Lord Jesus Christ. And on that note, we're going to get the fuck up out of here. Shout out to the Patreon gang. Shout out to the volume. Appreciate y'all. Club 520 Podcast. We'll be back.